So this is 10,000 ore, and in this episode, we're going to be mining it. Let's go. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. As you know, in today's video, we're going to be mining 10,000 blocks. And to be honest, we basically just yoinked this off of Zetro's channel, so shout out to him. But anyways, I can't really think of a better way to start this episode than by heading down into the mine. Let's go. Ooh, actually, there's some ore right here. Let's try it. Um, fortune three is going to be a problem. We need silk touch. Yeah, let's keep them for later. Okay, there's our pickaxe. Now let's hope for a good enchantment. Oh, we're level 27. And I think we'll finish it off by trading some carrots. Efficiency four, please be silk touch. <sighs> I mean, that's all right. That's a good start in base pickaxe. Okay, we've got a mending book here. Oh, efficiency five. And we'll have to trade to get a silk touch book. Oh my God, I hate this. It definitely wouldn't be a lockdown live video without the annoying snow. Oh my God. We got it like third try. That's sick. All right, we bought a few of them. I think we'll come back here and make a few changes later on in the video because I've read the comments and some of you guys had some pretty clever suggestions about how to improve it. But anyways, let's craft up this pickaxe. Okay, so my thinking is if we combine all of these books, all right, and then we add that to the pickaxe, it should be cheaper. I'm not too sure, but here we go. I can't really think of a good name, so I'm just going to call it Silk. And we've got a pickaxe. Let's head down to the mine. I think the best way of getting ores is going to be to explore as many caves as I can find. I can already see a few easy ones to get. So let's get straight into this and do a nice spot of mining. Our first ore. Only 10,000 more to go. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Let's go, diamonds. A zombie stole my ore mine. All right, guys, we're back from mining and we are about 3% of the way there to 10,000 ore. So I think we should try and speed this up a little bit. And for that, we're going to head into the nether. Let's go. All right. So you may be asking yourself, lockdown life, why are you in the nether? Well, we need to speed up the rate we're getting ores. So I'm thinking if we kill a bunch of wither skeletons with our looting three sword and get enough heads to summon a wither, we can make a beacon and then mine out a large area to collect loads of blocks and hopefully also get loads of ores and this should make it a bit faster to get some ores and also to find a load of different caves plus we can use any resources we get like stone and deep slate for an upcoming episode where we build a mega base anyways let's find some wither skeletons here we go can we get one no all right let's speed this up as well Are you joking? All this time, I thought this had looting three. Oh my God, we could have saved so much time. Oh, I'm gonna get looting three on it. All right, we're back. We've got looting three. We've got some more carrots. Let's get these heads. Oh, the wrong type of skeletons. All right, here we go. Come on, come on looting three. Did someone forget to turn looting three on or something? What the hell? Give me your head, please. Yes. Oh my god, finally. All right, we're going to go for a dog break while we collect the last two skulls. Let's go. All right, guys, so Sandy's going to show you how to subscribe. Here we have the subscribe button. And if I get a treat, Sandy, subscribe. And as you can see, Sandy's now subscribed. All right, we're back. We've got our three skulls and four pieces of soul sand. We've also got a bunch of terrible bows, but they should be enough to kill the wither. I'm a little bit scared, but we do have our enchanted golden apple, so we should be all right. What do you think, Mark? Will we do it? Well, say something. All right, let's do it. This might be the last time I see you. Wish me luck. We're going to use our bow to shoot him down to half health. And then we've got to go in with our sword. We should be able to do this. And if we can, we can get ourselves a beacon, which will make mining a lot easier. Oh, we can also use it for mining the 10,000 ores later. That'll actually be really useful. All right, here we go, guys. Let's kill the wither. Oh, my God. Run, 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 run. Okay, we wait. All right. Where's he gone? Come back down, please. Oh my god, we're destroying him. This is any power one as well. Oh no, silverfish! All right, we can't kill him with arrows anymore, I don't think. We're gonna have to hit him. Let's stay in here and be careful. We don't want to get the wither. Come on! Let's go! Yes! 
we have turned him into a star. Now all we need to do is trade thousands of carrots for some emeralds and we'll have a full emerald beacon. This way is also good because we won't have to waste any of our ore. Okay guys, as you can see, we now have enough emerald blocks to make a full emerald beacon. So let's head up here and let's craft ourselves our first beacon in this world. Let's go find a place and we can start constructing our beacon. I'm not too sure where I want to build it. Uh, oh my God. All right, I'm thinking around here, like next to the prison would be a good place. So I'm going to start digging down here and see if we come to a nice little cave. Okay, here we are. We're at bedrock. Now we just need to dig out a nice little room for the beacon. Well, we found more diamonds and there's lava here. Great. All right, and now let's build it. And let's go. Woo. All right, that's all working. It's going up to the surface. Now we should be able to mine stuff really fast. Oh my God, that's so much faster. I think we'll start on normal stone because it'll be insta mine. So it'll be really fast and we'll be able to get loads of ores. Now we just need to get up. Great, I didn't bring my elytra. All right, now we just need to collect some wood for some chests. And then we'll craft them up. That should definitely be enough. And now it's time to get mining. All right, yeah, this looks like a nice place to start. Let's chuck down our chests. I don't know why I placed them this way. And let's go. Oh my God, there's so much of this. Goes on forever. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna get so rich. Oh my god, there's so much copper in this cave. We might have to move to a different cave because all we're getting is copper pretty much. And copper's kind of boring. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna go down here and see if we can get some better ores. Oh my God, look how deep it goes. All right, yeah, we'll definitely find some good stuff down there. Whoa, all right, let's go. Oh my God, woo. All right, back to the ores. Trying to steal my ore. Nope. All right, now we're just getting redstone. What the hell, a little bit of gold. Well, oh, that's better than redstone. And again. Ooh, oh my god. That was like eight in one vein. That's insane. Why is there so many gold zombies? My iron. <laughs> oh no. Please don't give me slowness. Oh. Diamonds. Ooh, our first emerald ore. Let's go. Okay, so basically our situation at the moment is my pickaxe is nearly broken as you can see, but we do have 5,000 ore I think. It's about that, it might be a little bit more, a little bit less, but we're about halfway there. So we need to go up and repair our pickaxe. And whilst we're up there, we might do a few more things. All right, so basically one of your comments said, if I get the bell and then attach it to the redstone, then once it becomes night the bell will ring and all the villagers should go into their cells because some of them are staying out on their own at the moment that's kind of annoying all right so we had to get a second daylight sensor this will ring first and all the villagers will go into their cells and then all the cell doors should lock behind them uh so let's see if it works it's going nighttime now come on all right there the bell rung oh all the cells are already closed there's got to be another way to fix this i've added two more staircases so that all the villagers are always a lot closer to beds than they would be before now let's just wait until night to find out all right so all the villagers are heading up to bed the bell hasn't gone off yet some of them are still staying there but like it's all right if there's a few left these guys just don't care at all all right the bell's gone off all the rest of them are trying to go to sleep uh, some of them are still stuck out. All right, so I've scrapped the whole bell idea because it seemed to be messing up the villagers because it would ring when they're already in bed and then it would wake them up and they'd get out of their cells. But now with these staircases, let's see if it actually works. It's about to go night. Where are all the villagers? All right, they're all in bed. <laughs> There's a cat. The cat might get locked in. 
<laughs> the cat's locked in with our villager. It's just sitting on his head. Okay, so the prison is basically fixed. All of these guys just don't need sleep because they're built different. Them two are just staring at each other. Anyways, let's go back to the pickaxe. All right, so we need to get this pickaxe repaired. And there's only one way to do that. Yes, that's right. We're collecting even more carrots and we're trading them with the villagers. Let's go. And there we go. The pickaxe is basically at full health. We ran out of carrots. Now, I think we've got enough normal ore. We've got enough ore from the overworld. What about some nether ore? Some nice pieces of nether quartz and some of that nether gold ore. I think that'll look really nice on the pile. Ooh, actually, you'll look nice on the pile as well. So let's pick up our shulker box and head to the nether. Right, here we are in the nether. We've got to be careful of those guys when we're collecting gold. But other than that, we should be all right. Oh, great. All right, let's do this. Uh-oh. Haha. <laughs> nice bit of quartz. I wonder what level we're going to be on when we mine all the ore. Oh, this is kind of scary. Whoa, there's a lot over there. Okay. Right, we've got to be careful of that guy because if we get hit off, we might die. I mean, the god apple could save us, but I don't really want to have to use that. Ah, oh, baby. Ooh, look at that down there. Mine. No, leave my oars alone. No. I'm going to get him. How did that hurt him? Oh, was it thorns? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, let's go. Back to mining ores. All right, guys. So we're back from our nether mining trip. And this is all the stuff we've managed to get. It's probably, I think it's around 1,500-ish. So it'll be a nice chunk of the 10,000 pieces of ore. But to be honest, I'm getting a tiny bit bored of mining. So I think once it goes day, we're going to head out and try and find ourselves a horse because at the moment the only pet we've got is mark all right so where would i be if i was a horse why are you here i'm pretty sure in one of the earlier episodes i saw some horses like over that direction there's like a big flat plains area where horses like to hang out so i think we're gonna go and check there Ooh, and there's actually a bunch of ore here so why not All right, well, there's another 1% of the ore collected. We've probably got about 6,900 pieces of ore now, which is uh, pretty nice. I'm just looking forward to actually mining it and seeing how much of everything we get. It's gonna be insane. Hmm, these aren't horses. Excuse me, uh, Mr. B, have you seen any horses? Ah! <laughs> Run! Oh my God, there's so many! What the hell? <laughs> oh my God, what? What? There's like 20 of them. Run. <laughs> How are they still coming? Just going to use this boat to get away from the bees. All right. Yeah, this looks like more of a horse place. All right. Now we need to select the best horse because we only take the best ones. All the other horses will die. Are you a good horse? A row and three hearts. Not too bad. Please be mine. Yay. It's fairly fast. Horse number two. Oh, you have more health and you're kind of cool looking. Oh my God, this horse is so slow. Uh, sorry, but horse number three. Ow, oh, come on, please. All right, playing hard to get. Oh, he's fairly fast. Oh my God, this horse is rapid. It's got like no health, but it's so fast. Diamond horse armor should help this a lot. And it's pretty much a perfect horse now. Can it jump? Oh, yes, it can. Oh, I can jump three blocks easily. Let's go. And it's so fast. Okay, let's take this back to base. Oh my God, it's so good for climbing mountains. Oh my God. Oops, let's not kill it on the way back to base. All right, guys. So we've got our horse, but now I need your help. We need a name for our new friend. I've got two names and I want you to vote in the comments for what name you want it to be. So name number one is Keith. This could be Keith the horse. And name number two is Steve. Is this going to be Steve the horse? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, we've got about 3,000 more ore to collect. Let's get to it. All 
All right, guys, I think we've got it. We've got this entire chest, this entire chest, and half of this chest, which should be around eight and a half thousand, maybe a little bit more. And then we've got that 1,500 nether ore up in our base. So now we just need to transport it up and then get placing it down so we can mine it. Let's go. Yeah, not gonna lie, we have a lot of copper. Right, looks like we've got our first load. Let's take this up and then come back and grab the rest. And there we go, that's the last of it. We have three double chests full of ore. All right, that should be definitely over 10,000. So 640 times six is like about 3,006, uh, about 3,840, I think. So yeah, that times three, definitely enough. And we'll probably take a little bit off for like some, some stacks that aren't full. So it should work out to be pretty much perfectly 10,000 blocks of ore. Now for the fun part. Let's see how rich we are gonna get. Okay, now it's time to build the Tower of Ores. Okay guys, we have the tower. It's looking very, very nice. It is 50 blocks tall and there is 200 blocks on every layer. So there's exactly 10,000 blocks here. Now we're gonna see what it gives us if we mine it all with Fortune 3. We have 44 blocks of diamond here. I want to see your predictions for how many we'll get in the comments down below. Yeah, so I'm predicting about 100 diamonds. Let's see how many we get. Well, there's a stack. Did we lose any off the side? Just some. All right, so a stack and 24 diamonds. So that is 88. So it's pretty close to 100. I'm going to grab these guys and then bring them up to the top so we can start storing ores as we go so we don't have to come down every five seconds. We missed a diamond. All right, so the next layer is deep slate iron. We have a cup. I think we have another layer of this, but I'm not too sure. We'll just mine this now and see how much we get. <laughs> Wait, actually, this is the ore we have the least of. Just one little emerald. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're on level 42 when we start mining. Mining. Let's see what we're on by the very end. Oh my god, we've already got loads of iron. Okay, let's see how much we get from this. Okay, so all the iron is gone now and we have this amount. Let's see what it looks like when we're put it in here. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, nearly seven stacks of raw iron and that's just the first layer gone. Now we are moving on to gold, which is going to be useful if we want to craft golden carrots, but we'll probably just trade for them anyway. We'll need gold for something, I'm sure. There's one layer of gold gone. And there's all the gold gone. Oh my god, we've got a lot of gold. Okay, let's chuck that in here as well. I forgot, we should probably bring the beacon over here because we have a lot more to go. So the beacon would help a lot. So let's go grab that and we'll be back to do the lapis. There we go. There we go. And it looks like that one emerald from earlier came in useful. And now we have haste too. Let's go. So now we're on to lapis. Uh, we'll probably get a lot of XP, which should help mend our pickaxe. Oh my God, you get so much lapis. From just this, we have all this. Oh my God. I wonder how much we're gonna have after these entire layers. Okay, we have so much lapis that I think we're gonna need to turn them into blocks just to save on storage space. Um, that is not how you craft lapis blocks. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna run out of lapis anytime soon. All right, so I'm quickly just gonna chuck mending on my elytra so that it can get repaired as we're doing the redstone because this should give us a lot of XP. Okay, and that is the last of the redstone. Oh my god, that's a lot of coal. And then after that, we got redstone and then even more coal. Oh my god. We'll do these levels as fast as we can and then we'll have a look at... Oh! And then we'll have a look at the amount of resources we've got. Oh, this is so much faster than Deep Slate. Okay, there we go, guys. All the coal and redstone is now mined. We have this nether gold next, which should be really fast to get through. And it's going to give us golden nuggets, which we can then craft into golden ingots and then once we have enough of those we can craft them into gold blocks for storage so let's get doing it 
And there we go. There's a nice little 50 blocks of gold. Now we've got about a thousand blocks of iron, then some copper, then some more iron, and then we're onto some quartz. All right, guys, that big copper layer has now been mined. Uh, and because this is taking so long, my girlfriend's actually going to step in and mine for me. Here she goes. I don't want to fall off. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've only got 10 layers of copper to go. Let's get mining these 2,000 copper ore. Okay, guys, as you can see, the entire 10,000 blocks of ore has been mined. And if you look over here, this is everything that we got from the 10,000 blocks of ore. We have so many resources now. Let me know in the comments down below what you think I should do with the resources. I've got some ideas, but I want to hear what you have to say. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>